Well, hello and welcome along to everyone who's uh, joining us for our live broadcast today. We are full steam ahead for this from the gantry, but we have to report to you first up that the match itself, whilst not jeopardised by the weather, certainly may have its dynamic affected by this torrential sterile rain which is uh, upon us and which has appeared almost from nowhere in the uh, hour or so up to kickoff. It could prove a considerable test for the officials and certainly for the players. We do have our fingers crossed that it won't affect the uh, game itself, but I tell you what, this could be a bit different. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. Now we're on the way. So this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. The one that nobody wants to miss, a meeting of the top two. Elmas, Maximovic, Napoli were imperious when the two sides last met, and the fans are asking for more of the same. Di Maria, and here's Iniesta, Lorenzo Insigne. Oh, that's neat. He's in, surely. Di Maria, this could fall anywhere. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Iniesta. Iniesta spreads it towards the left. Fozi Gulam. Gets up to head it. And out to safety. No, he didn't quite meet it right. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. And the shot! Well, it's Di Maria. Great leap! That's a half-decent try. Iniesta did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Out to the left it goes. That's a throw. And it's Perisic. Vidal is on to it and can take it up. Play for a throw. Ericsson. 
And here's Brozovic. Into Milan. Oh, the league's... Shot at goal! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Over to the left. Who has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Still goalless. Brozovic. Across the field it goes. And it's Young. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Out to the left it goes. Got a size of goal here. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And it's played forward. Alexis Sanchez out to the right. This is gone. That's a foul. That's a booking, always looked it. And it's Brozovic. Brozovic looks to dink one in. Di Maria. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Foot in. Skrinja. Elmas. It's Di Maria. Iniesta. Elmas. Not subtlety, he's launched himself there. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. He's going after it. There is the half-time whistle. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now. But still goals. Some first-half thoughts. Napoli have been playing relatively well from what I've witnessed. Good movement, and the ball retention has been quite strong, and it's led to a few chances. It's just that cutting edge that's lacking at the moment, and it's fixable. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. And the game has already resumed here. Napoli can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Balls out on the left, now. Hit into the middle. Dulan. Iniesta. Elmas. Here's Lukaku, Alexis Sanchez. Big chance! It's broken loose, and they've been caught out here. Now it's Mertens. Elmas. He's picked him out. Di Maria. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Cleared without complication. 
The Fry demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Skrinja. And it's Sanchez. Vidal. Forward it goes. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Stefan de Vrij. Vidal. Brozovic plays it forward. Vidal. Alexis Sanchez. Has a goal! Same again. Same outcome. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. <laughs> we have got changes here from both sides, in fact. <laughs> they've played it short. Brozovic. Up he gets! He scores! All goals are welcome, but when they come at a time like that, they're priceless. A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Another change here. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Mertens. Foden. And here's Insignia. A heavy challenge. Napoli are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Goes for goal! Oh, and that should have been two. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. <laughs> Napoli making another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Good take and goes for goal! Business. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Inter Milan making consecutive changes here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal. It just got caught napping. Just brushed off the ball there. Now the counter. Lorenzo Insigne. He's gone for it! Given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good.
Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. Now it's Ashley Young. Napoli need to hold on for a few more moments. Dulan. That could spell trouble. Into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Mertens finds himself offside. Into Milan, have to get it into the box and quickly. Mertens floats one over. Here it comes. Oh, real danger here. Massive leap. And that may well be that. That is that. What a match, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity. Truly deserving winners. So a dramatic game decided in its very last moments. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes it comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. It remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.